It's crunch time for the Pringle. For months, appeal court judges have been digesting and debating, are Pringles potatoey enough to be classified crisps? Today they decided, yes they are. I've been brought up to think it's potato crisps. I've been eating them since I was five years old. It's all I've ever been told. Potato crisp? I'm not sure what flavour. Paprika? But you definitely think it's a potato crisp? I've always thought they were potato crisps, yeah. It's alright, it's not really that potatoey though. <laughs> Today's ruling leaves a nasty taste in the mouth of Pringles maker Procter & Gamble. The firm had hoped for a £100 million tax rebate because if Pringles aren't crisps, they aren't liable for VAT. The 1994 VAT Act includes potato crisps, potato sticks, potato puffs and similar products made from the potato. Procter and Gamble argued because Pringles are 42% potato and 33% fat, there wasn't enough potatoness in them to be called a crisp. But the judges here disagreed, and the company today said it was disappointed with their decision. This isn't the first legal food fight. Jaffa Cakes went to court with their biscuit or cake case. Unlike Pringles, though, they won and don't have to pay VAT. When VAT was introduced a long time ago, back in the early 70s, they took the, the rules from purchase tax, which is going back even further, and said, things that are nutritious, the basic foods, we're not going to tax them. Things that are snack foods and uh, confectionery, we're going to put VAT on them at the standard rate, and there's always this margin. The company says it's considering its next move, which could be a hearing in the House of Lords. Laura Bundock, Sky News.